I'll move over Swanson. and I'm driving. Wow! Welcome back to the Caddyshack Minute, the podcast in which we examine and analyze and gently slap in the face the film Caddyshack one minute at a time. I am Tom Taylor, and I am joined again by Mike DiMaria yep. and by our friend Dan Lewis. Hello, Joe. Can't sleep. Clown will eat me. <laughs> um, today we're here to talk about Minute 15. And minute 15 begins with Denunzio giving Danny a solid slap on the cheek. And it ends with Brian Doyle Murray yelling at a guy to pick up a rapper. That's a solid minute. Uh, another, We're in the real meat of the movie now. It's good stuff pretty yeah, much all Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? We're actually getting into, like, stuff that we, you know, uh, uh, with our Tourette's just say constantly. Just Iconic you know. moments. Um, I would like to say, oh, my big question for this is um, Denunzio, who's he's got like, you know, Brooklyn or something accent. Somebody will correct me, I'm sure. Uh, do we think that he, uh, does he over uh, denunciate uh, the word talk here? <laughs> he says talk. Like he's trying really hard to do a New York accent or something, which seems out of character. I have a theory, but maybe Mike being Italian wants to hit this one first. No. Yeah. No. Hey, Di Maria. No. no. Nothing no? to say on that one. No. Because it has nothing to do with, with it. You your can, people, your ancestors, you come Jewish from a land people from, where they say you talk. Jewish people from from the same neighborhood saying the same thing. Yeah, but it's Denunzio, you know. Yeah. Well, I'm just you, saying. Yeah, it's, you know him, don't you? Yeah, obviously we're all cousins. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. you get like you know confirmed on the same day or something. No, 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 no. Mike. This is something that you confirmed. <laughs> no, my, like this is something that you that you maybe uh, can speak to though, which is that he could be from the New York area with an accent like that, or he could be doing the thing where he like really Italians it up because he likes that that idea. And I know you've always hated this, the uh, the kind of superficial, uh, like if uh, for lack of a a, a better word, goombaing it up. Yeah, if Denunzio, if we knew what Denunzio drove, it'd be a Camaro. Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> no, I'm not trying to say anything. I'm trying That's to say what I heard. someone I can have an accent like that because he's putting it on, because he's got an affect, or he'd be doing it because he's simply from, you know, he, he grew up in Little Italy or something. Well, it could be also, it could be, uh, uh, you know, the director saying, you know what, play it that way. You know, pretend like, you're, you know, you, this, is, this is Brooklyn, you're playing stickball. You yeah. Know? You know, let's do it. Let's do it that way. It'll be funny. You're out of place. Right. Maybe they didn't. Yeah, it could have been Ramis just saying it. It might not be that Denunzio's backstory is all that clear. Or Ramis could have said, you know what, do what the fuck you want because I got got, got my own problems I got to deal with here. (laughs) Goddamn overdubbing is coming out like crap. (laughs) Whatever you got to do, just make sure you enunciate God forsaken it. God forbid if we got to go back to the booth and redub this thing, it's going to sound like shit. Played yes. by Scott Columby. Is he Columby? What is that? Columbus? Co- what is that? Columby? Columby? Yeah. It's pronounced Columbo. Ah, uh, right. Yeah. Well, he should have deliver- delivered it like Peter Falk then. Instead of uh, Rhoda Morgenstern. One of the all-time great deliveries. Yeah. <laughs> now, speaking of deliveries, I do have a pizza <laughs> coming sometime during this podcast. Yes, and arugula salad. We listen it's to you. It's a fungi <laughs> with <laughs> arugula. <laughs> know what I'm saying? Yeah, pizzeria fungi. Pizzeria, pizzeria. <laughs> it's a pizzeria fungi. I don't understand a word. <laughs> a little <you> scungili. <laughs> That's disgusting. Broccoli rob. No, you had an arugula salad. Arugula. <laughs> half, uh, can you make it a half arugula salad, please? We, 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 we see you had your hot mic on while, while you were ordering your pizza pie. Well, you know, the big one is enormous. I mean, you eat that much arugula and you'll go <laughs> jolly green giant. <laughs> Too much bitter, hot and cold running dumps. That's a spicy green coming out, man. (laughs) I don't want that. Just crystal clear. Oh, tasted horrible. Straight water. Yeah. Okay. Mm. All right. So back to this minute now. Go. (laughs) Okay. So Denunzio uh, leads uh, Danny out into the open. Everyone immediately is clued in 
to the fact that a fight's about to happen and they all get incredibly excited and it's not just kids there are at least like two gray haired adults <laughs> we're like yeah here we go here let's we make go, some guys. fighting gestures yeah it's like the they old man know. the old man that left with lou it's kind of like that guy is part of lou's like uh like a rough and tumble crew that he travels with yeah <laughs> He took one. He took one guy that one young kid that was sitting in the back, and this old man just walked out with him. He took a tough guy that was in the Spanish American War. <laughs> you go with a cutlass, yeah. come here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like he, oh no, it's true that the the whole crew seems to be able to smell a fight. They're like hawks that can smell a fight brewing before there's any kind of like yeah. actual right. stimuli to indicate just that it's two people yeah. walking into an open area. Yeah. Slowly, the subtle that difference in the fight. way they walk. Yeah, and it's <laughs> that's what they're saying. Oh, Denunzio's got a hot one. Yeah, here we yeah. go. Every time Denunzio walks outside, that means a fight's about to happen. <laughs> that whole the whole woods around the Caddyshack is uh, littered <laughs> with with corpses that were <laughs> destroyed by Tony Denunzio. <laughs> the heaven uh, camps were lucky to be alive. Uh, we established finally the uh, the uh, relationship between. Um, I already forgot his name. That's my brother. Yeah. Yeah, the denunciation of what's his name? Angie. 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 Yeah, Angie. <laughs> we, Angie's all excited that his brother's about to get in a fight. More bad uh, overdubbing, by the way, on that line. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that's my brother. Yeah. That's my brother. That's not something you would say naturally as you're, <laughs> you know, having somebody boost <laughs> you onto a it. building so that you could jump on another guy who another guy's fighting. Yeah, hey, lift me up to the top of this caddy shack. Okay, why? I'll do it and I'll start doing it right now, but why? Yeah, explain to me what we're doing here. <laughs> what, what, what's, what's your stake in, 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 in like the fisticuffs over right. there? Hey, Joey, get me up there. You know me, right? That's my brother. <laughs> yeah. That's my brother. Yeah. Say, you're a denunzio. <laughs> what's your relationship to the guy that's about to yeah. fight? Speaking yeah. as Angie, brother to denunzio over there, I would like to be higher up than I am now. Yeah, you and me, we've been friends for 10 years. But I'm going to tell you again, <laughs> that's my brother. <laughs> Give me a cheese with nothing. So yeah. I think, I think that, in other words, that's a bad... Uh, yeah, that's a bad. Uh, it's like, well, we have to let the you know we have to let the audience know that this is his brother. Yeah, just terrible right. exposition yeah. is what it is. Plus, it's it makes a, ba- a huge it's a bad, difference for the rest of the movie, and it's yeah. a bad cut to it because it cuts to it. And my brother, it's my brother. <laughs> yeah, just like a, a really a really weird jump cut to this outside. <laughs> it's my brother. And then the yeah. best part uh, is when okay, he's shadow boxing. He's ready to, to go into <laughs> it. And when he jumps on his back, there's a little cut to. There's still got two things to say about this. You both are going to sit there and just listen to it. I'm sorry. Okay. So he jumps on his back, and then Denunzio is just dejected. He puts his hands up in the air like, I can't catch a break. Yeah. He has a mm-hmm. cut, and he's like, oh, yeah. ah, I just wanted to fight. Now I can't fight. Well, it takes him a little because, while. He's still in the fisticuffs position for no, that's well, a bad, That's a until, bad edit. A bad edit. Until so after the gumball machine gets broken, they cut back to him, and he's still in the fisticuffs right. position. But if when he jumps on his, the kid jumps on his back, you see Denunzio throw his hands up in the air and then kind of crumples like, now nah, what? Yeah. Oh, so that's and, when he gets up originally. Right. And then he cuts – then they cut to him as a close-up and he's he's in the crouched fisticuffs position. So it's a bad edit. Oh, right. this movie's a piece of shit. Right. Uh, I'd love to see it. I'm going to make a movie. It's sort of a uh, – it's a, it's, a, it's a sequel. But it doesn't – and it's, it's Denunzio and he's become a world-famous fighter. And he comes out, and there's a whole thing, and everybody's around him, and he's got the robe, and he's coming out, he's doing the thing. He's getting ready to go. The, the guy's there. The woman comes around. She's in a bikini showing round one. And then the, the referee comes out, and they say, all right, fight. Let's keep it clean. They had come out, and the brother comes from off in the rafters. And, the guy, <laughs> and Denunzio throws up his hands. He says, what, what am I going to do? I can't get a fight. <laughs> I'm trying to defend this title, and I can't do it. Hey, uh, it's a forfeit. He still gets to keep his title. He's good. I don't know how boxing works. Um, yeah. When he jumps on that guy's back, it kills me every single time. I, fe- I, fe- I feel like I-, I feel that happening to me that like some kid jumping on my back and he just crumples. <laughs> you, that's down, down he goes. Right? Yeah, it's, it looks so painful. Yeah. Just, like, the lower back is just, you know, just the <laughs> jelly that just very carefully separates your, your, your vertebrae, just like squirts out of the side of that guy's spine. Yeah, <laughs> I've always found that very funny myself, and I don't even know why I like it that much, but I, I like this bit of slapstick it for is pretty some funny. reason. And I, you know, while we're saying positive things, 
Mm-hmm. We hate this movie so much. We're scrounging for things to positive things to say. When the gumball machine goes down, and everybody, first of all, it's hysterical that everybody, again, including the gray hair old men, go <laughs> running for the gumballs. They get like <laughs> first they're delirious for a fight. Now they're yeah. delirious for gumballs. Free yeah. gumballs. Yeah. gumballs yeah. Free gumballs from the ground surrounded by broken glass. They couldn't be more excited. Yeah, I, mean, like, I do like seemed... the. Uh, there's like the that flurry of like everybody going for the gumballs, and then the cut to Denunzio, kind of like ah, eh, what the, and kind of looking around. I like. There's something about that uh, those two shots that I like a lot. Yeah, there's some nice movement there. It's but it the, was like a director's thing. He said, okay, we're gonna. It was like a two second cut. Okay, I'm gonna when I sell action when I yell action, everybody run for the gumballs. Yeah, and go. Just but mindless. Like everybody, all hands on the gumball, and then right. five years old. Yeah. And we got to get this right because we only got one gumball machine. Yeah. We've <laughs> got to get it in it. one take, guys. So go after the gumballs. I don't care how much broken glass you get in your hands. Yeah. Go for You're it. You're getting paid, aren't you? It's what in 1979 would have been upwards of $4 worth of gumballs. And then yeah. when you see when Lou comes running out of the shack, he just starts throwing bodies left and right. <laughs> right. They <laughs> throwing. Yeah. Legitimately throwing. It's like the incredible Hulk coming out of there. <laughs> and if you look at the if you look at the like the the kind of the you know the, the set there that he could have easily just gone around them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but they've got it written in the they've yeah. got it written in the script script that he's throwing guys left and right. <laughs> That's pretty incredible. Um another little touch here you might uh you might have noticed is that uh Danny is at first he's coming out and he's got the coke in his hand still and he just sort of <laughs> casually hands it off to this girl who just takes it off him and she immediately smells it like the, <laughs> she just smells it like is there something wrong with it <laughs> I didn't notice that yeah, that's yeah awesome. it's funny <laughs> oh my god does the guy uh the big tall curly headed gangly guy does he have a name? Because we're going to refer to him a lot, and and because he keeps coming up, but he's in the he's in the background of the scene, and he's like holding something. Like my eye today, like when I see when I watch this now, I almost want to say that he's like taking a picture of the fight with his phone because he's holding something up to his head a little bit as Lou comes out and like shoves him, uh. but like I can't tell what like he might just be holding like his. I have no idea, but he's like holding something up next to his head, like he's taking a picture or something. Oh, that hasn't uh, <clears throat> registered with me, really, I must say. Well, it's a mystery. The, the gangly kid. Uh, I wish I was a golf club. That kid? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me see what he's got. What is it? I heard he choked on his own vomit. That's my brother. We grew up in Walnut Creek, California together. <laughs> yeah. You live next door. You know all this. Now give me a boost. <laughs> yeah, the gangly all kid. I want is a boost. Why do I got to give you my life story? But I'm going to do it for the audience's sake. Come on, Joey Exposition. Wait, it's like, you know, you're right, Tom. I'm looking at this now, and it's it's like it's like there's a jump in. There's like a weird time wormhole where he has a <laughs> cell phone somehow. Yeah. Like, I don't, like, what could he possibly be holding up to his face? Yeah. Oh, it's you really know what it incredible. is? It could be like a, like a radio or something. Oh, maybe. Those kids. I don't know what he's got, but he's got some in his hands. I got it paused right now. I'm going back to look too. Lou Loomis is about to throw him <laughs> 15 feet, and he's got <laughs> and he's got this thing in his hand, and he's but it looks exactly like someone looks everywhere you walk around now. Yeah, with a cell phone. He legitimately throws a gun. Like that one guy, he like gets off the ground and throws him. Yeah, that guy. It's like everybody's in everybody's in the the springs, just ready to go. <laughs> he's like he's like the moment the moment Brian Doyle Murray touches. Listen, Brian doesn't like to strain himself, so when he comes from his trailer yeah. and we do this shot, and the you second he touches you, I want you throwing. jumping. I want you airborne. <laughs> Make him look good. Right. He's Pro a little guy, thing. but he's he's gonna throw you. He's got a powerful hat and mustache. Now these these bump these gumballs are really going to break and they're, and and they're really going to go to the actors, so go after them. <laughs> the uh, when he slams uh, Angie Denunzio against the uh, the sign, it always yeah. bothers me that neither time, like first he's lower and then he's higher, neither time is he anywhere near the the word that he reads. Yeah, no bare feet. They should be saying no drinking, no, and like, no hitting, or something. You yeah. Know. The funniest no line is no bare feet, so they went ahead and went with the funniest one instead of the most logical sure. one. Yeah. No bare feet. I'm not exactly complaining, but it always bugs me. So I guess I'm complaining. 
I grew up in Reno, Nevada. Yeah, I learned how to read signs in school with my cousin <laughs> and my brother, who was over there about to get in a fist fight. I love Brian Doyle Murray. I do too, my God. Is he great or what? He's got to be the second greatest Murray. What do you think? Easily. <laughs> Maybe third after Bill and Ann Murray. The great <laughs> Ann Murray. What about Murray Head? Does he count? <laughs> what about Murray from <laughs> what about Murray from Goodfellas? What about Murray Hamilton, the, the, the mayor in Jaws? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Night Riders. It's not a Night Riders. By the way, <laughs> it's a Night Riders shirt. Yeah. I think before we were saying it was Night Rider. No, yeah. no, no, no. We said Night Riders, and we also I think we, we did say Night Riders. We just said okay, it could be like, a, like his baseball team or something. I feel know, like we should have this entire conversation again because I already forget. Like, yeah. is the band... No, like that's K- Night Ranger. Night Rider? No, we, Night Ranger. That's right. Not, <laughs> we had the same conversation. <laughs> Deja vu. You, <laughs> this is weeks ago. It's no, Night Rider. Rider the car is with a K. Yeah, because his name is Michael Knight or something. Yeah. So that's why it's Night Rider playing words, and then and then this kid's got a Night Rider's <laughs> shirt. We have no idea what it is. And then that's the band Night Ranger. <laughs> I guarantee, if you look right now and look up like Caddyshack T-shirts, that'll be one of them. Just Night Rider. You think so? Yeah. Okay, for a first search, let's Somebody see. Somebody out there Daddy. is cool enough to put that together. Check t shirts. If I can have a t shirt with the uh, fake software company name from Tron on it, then somebody's going to make a Knight Riders shirt exactly like that from Caddyshack. I think I just want uh, It says Carl Spackler unisex shirt. It's not very cool. There's one uh, that says Judge Smales. That's pretty good. <laughs> just says uh, Judge Smales. No, it just says, uh, it says Judge Smales. Uh, it's hard to read. Yeah, you'll get nothing and like it. <laughs> That's what it says. I what I really want is just the the simple Bushwood Country Club shirt. The simple so that no one will know what it's about unless they're a Caddyshack fan and be almost. Mike and I dog. both have that shirt. You do? I, I got Mike that shirt. Oh, that's right. You, you mentioned that before. Ah, oh. Yeah. oh wait, my pizza might be here. Okay. Hello. Jeez. Oh, Hello. Hello. Oh, it's you with my pizza. Oh, you and uh, your pizza. <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't what are you doing it, with that? Okay, I'll, I'll be doing one. I see. A rugula. I think you better hand it over. Oh, uh, guys, my pizza's here. Okay. Here we get it. Yeah, no, but I, I just wanted you to know that. <laughs> All right. You sound pretty excited. Little San Francisco pizza. I'm going to buy the pizza. Hold on. <laughs> you've decided. Now that it's arrived, you've decided you're going to buy it. I think I will yes. buy it. Yes, that's what I ordered. I think I will that pay for it. It's a good fit. <laughs> I just wanted to see it first. <laughs> Come on. I, I, I wasn't well, sure all the call. All what the do time. I got to do to put you in this pizza today? <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Hang on. Though. Um, you guys, the guy went to the wrong house. Like, oh, really? Me, he just told me he was here, and I just went outside, and there was no sign of anyone. Uh, so what? I, I'm going to have to call him back. It's a whole ordeal. What this whole about? totally derailed this minute. Yeah, derailed the no, minute. I'm having fun. All right, it's important. No, they want a slice of life, Mike. The pizza. Yeah. What do you mean the slice of life? I got Some people have never ordered a pizza before. They'll never know this, Joy. Uh huh. Sure. Although I totally don't understand what his dilemma is right now. What no, is he said the pizza guy called him and said, "I'm here, but he's at the wrong house." Oh, I thought he was already there. Okay, I get it. He is. He, he's supposed to be there. No, but I thought he was like face to face with him. Oh no. You guys, I got an update okay. on the pizza. Yeah. Yeah. He, how's he it went going? down the street to the wrong house, so it's not. Not the wrong oh, Jesus. neighborhood or anything. I just want to let you guys know. I'll, I'll be back in a minute with another update. I'm nervous. Okay. I don't know if I can handle this. When I order a pizza, it comes right to my door, and then, you know, I just pay the guy. Give him a little tip. How much do you tip a, a pizza delivery guy? A couple bucks. Like, literally a couple of bucks? No, yeah. like, regardless of what you buy? Of what you order? Yeah. All right. Four or five bucks, maybe. Okay. I mean, I was a pizza delivery guy for a long time, not a long time, a couple of years. And so I, 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 I try to pay it backwards, mm-hmm. you know? How fantastic would it be to have ordered a pizza right now? No, no, I'm hungry. I'm really hungry. I shouldn't have one. I should. I'm not oh, going to order a pizza, but I should have a pizza. And he's getting, you know, he's getting a good one too, because he, get, he yeah. gets it from those. He's probably got like a Neapolitan pizza. It's probably brick What's that? Like with strawberry, vanilla, yeah. and chocolate? No. All on one pizza? Is it a brick oven pizza? It's a Neapolitan, yeah. It's a, what did I just say? Jesus. I knew it. It's a, it's a fungi. 
But isn't the yeah, uh, so the like, ice cream doesn't like no. sop into the into the crust to make no, it disgusting? Tom, shut the fuck up. I'm just saying. Tom, it's like a Concern. brick oven. Uh, it's, it's an Italian pizza. It's one size, right? Okay. Tom, I bet you eat like mostly like a children's because you're like a child in a lot of ways. Yeah. You, like children food. <laughs> it's like little Caesars. A lot of bologna sandwiches, stuff There's like that. Chocolate smiley face on everything I yeah. eat. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, I cry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it has to be brought to you like an airplane. Yeah. <laughs> he orders a pizza, he orders from Domino's. You know, yeah. I, I, for a while, my son loved Domino's. We get a lot of Domino's. It literally smells like dog. Yeah, it's horrible. <laughs> like, like a, like a wet dog Domino's. or a dry it's dog? Like a kind or? of damp, gross, wet dog. Oh my goodness, it's God. Just, and yeah, it's not good. So that I finally put horrendous. my foot down. Like, no, you have a new favorite pizza. And it's not Domino's. Hmm. Yeah, it's a very. Uh, Did you get your pizza? Yeah, Denunzio pizza. I thought it would be like a thematic thing. I, I think it worked out fine. Enjoyable. There was a little excitement there, a little drama with uh, being in the wrong place and stuff. And Did you get it finally? I got the pizza. He went to um, 661, and I'm at 651. Oh, interesting. We should bleep that. But if somebody tracks you well, down. Delivers but more I than just a, a pizza. I didn't say what street it was. We'll say All it right. now. I think we've exhausted this minute. No. I want I you to go have so. your pizza. There's a lot more to talk about. Isn't like there? What? I don't know. Well, what did Mike do for the last two weeks? I want to know what people are doing in life. I had a, yeah. I had a wisdom tooth yanked. Oh, did geez. you? Yeah. Wow. Just one? One, yeah. yeah. Don't they take all yeah. of them? I, mine came in perfectly. So I've had them my entire life, and they just get you get cavities in them because you just yeah. have to clean them. They really? pulled mine before they, like, as soon yeah. as they all came fully in, they're like, you know what? These are going to go bad after a while. And just yank them. I'm like, all right. Yeah, that's, that's what I should have done, but I didn't. Now I have one left. No. It's all a scam. By the Hopefully way, that, that was a fascinating experience because you're like, okay, they're going to pull my wisdom teeth. They, they call it pulling your wisdom teeth. But, uh, you know, they're going to get rid They have some, some process, I'm sure, some surgical thing that they do. But they don't. They, like, numb you, yeah, they and then they out. pull as hard as they can on your tooth until it rips out of your head. That is, fu- that is awful. I, I'm yeah, never going to do that. I still my got dentist it. refers to it as, it, why don't you, I think you should have that slipped out. <laughs> oh, sure. Make it seem it sounds so easy. No problem. I'm sure, yeah, let's, let's, let's have that tumble out. Ha <laughs> ha, tumble out of your mouth easily. <laughs> Oops, no way. my tooth that's fell about, out. It's about 10 minutes of violence. And then it's... You go in there and they're butchers. <laughs> they're butchers. And, and, and then you've got to get on antibiotics because you're not supposed to open up your mouth, your oh, face yeah. like that. Speaking of pizza, the night I got my wisdom teeth pulled, I think I was still in high school. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and my mom offered to get me whatever food I wanted. So I got a, a pizza, but with um, with spinach, or not, not spinach, uh, with sausage, but it was a kind of like a very fennel-y uh, sauce, very crumbly, a lot of fennel. And I remember having a, a single fennel seed in and each you... of my holes, in each of oh. my... <laughs> I was like, that's a bad idea. Oh, my God. Everything must have tasted like anise for a while. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of great. <laughs> well, that's... <laughs> You know, I, again, you, you got a hole in your face now from this. Yeah. I just can't, I can't imagine. And they told me I should get mine taken out, and I never did it. And now, now I'm just like, I don't know. Do I need? I, you know, I think in other countries they just wait until something goes wrong. Yeah, that's, well, that's like, as long out. as you, as long as you keep them clean and they're and they came in okay, you're you're fine. They're but just, how do you keep them clean? They're, they're just down, hard. They're, they're hard to they're brush because they're all the way in the back. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, yours are inside. They're inside. Oh, yeah. Oh, this never came out. Mine came out. Mine came oh, in yeah. perfectly. But they just, you, hmm. get, you get them, they get cavities after They're not while. worth having. They're, they're more trouble than they're worth. They're yeah. hard to clean. I see. Yeah. So I had How yours never come in? That's you, bizarre. Do, do you remember when, when I had my tooth attack? I was with you, remember? With me? No, I was with Dan. We were in Chinatown. I didn't see who you were pointing at. We were going to uh, the Tiger game. We went to have oh. dim sum before. That's right. I, and I, I, I crumpled to the floor, remember? <laughs> yeah, that's right. That was the first time because I had, a, I had a, something wrong with my wisdom tooth, and it felt like I had a heart attack in my, in my head. Oh, my God. Oh so my, I went yeah. to the floor, and was, remember, I was, like, screaming. Down he goes. Yeah, yeah, that was a rough one. And we were headed to that noodle shop or something? Yeah, or we went we to get to the White yeah. Sox game. And then, and yeah, that was, that was my first wisdom tooth. I had to get yanked out. Wow. Ooh, yeah. I, don't, I never heard of people getting them one at a time. They just go one. As long as you're in there. Yeah. Well, but because they don't, it's eight hundred dollars a pop. Hmm. Is it really that much? 
Well, insurance. I mean, insurance. I had to pay. I paid two hundred dollars, and then the insurance will cover the rest. But they're like, ah, it's just, uh, yeah, just pull this one out, and then two years later, ah, we'll just pull that other one out. <laughs> two right. years later, ah, just pull that the one out. I, now I got one left. Now, if you go, you get after you get four, and then they go, yeah, we got, we're gonna take the last one out, and then you gotta wonder, wait a minute, what one is that one? Then they just start working your other molars, and they start yeah. moving up. They're pretty far size. back too. You never know what could happen. Well, just take them all out since we're here. Yeah, we might as well pop that one out. Just slip it right out. <laughs> Meanwhile, they get on top of you and they put your, their feet on your thighs so they can get better leverage, <laughs> and just pull it out with all their might, like they're trying to take a cork out uh, of a so I, I go to the I go to the oral surgeon. I have my dentist. You know, your dentist doesn't do it. You have to go to the oral surgeon. Right. And I go to this. I usually go. The other two, I went to this. The they have two offices. I, I went to this other office because they had a, an appointment that I could work better. And I walk in, and the guy in the in the waiting room has one of these like Wild West <laughs> antique <laughs> dental chairs in the in the in the uh, like a steampunk <laughs> version <laughs> of a right. fucking torture chamber, sitting there and yeah. like, oh, look at this real old dentistry chair that we have. Isn't it cool? No. And right. it's got all these just like god awful, uh, just horrifying, torturous tools. <laughs> yeah, and you're sitting there just staring at it with his rusty, you know, pointing pointy things and stuff, where they just give you a shot of whiskey yeah. and just drill it in your face. Oh. <laughs> That's one thing that you don't want yeah. the vintage vibe so much going on. You don't want. Yeah, really. It's one. You don't want the Wes Anderson movie stuff yeah. for that. You want the you want the modern yeah. high tech chrome and well, plastic. I don't want a diorama. Yeah. Right of, of how things of of, of long of days gone by, a diorama so, of an Iron Maiden. Yeah, that's what it was like. And I, I see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're a, you're a collector of all things dentistry, but this is one thing. This yeah. is like a torture it's all the chain. Line. Yeah. It's like going to get heart surgery, and then say, "This is how they used to do it during the Civil War." Yeah. yeah stop stop your collection. You know, yeah. after they invented, you know, like Novocaine or something, yeah. or you know, something right. civilized. It would just pour whiskey on your chest and then open you up with a hacksaw. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Man, they're... <laughs> oh my God. what a violent Jeez. time! History is a violent. dentistry minute. You went to, you went to the, the Deadwood. Yeah, set. yeah. yeah. Pulled. yeah. Oh. I don't want Deadwood or 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 or, or Wes Anderson, Mark Mothersbaugh. I want the I want the room at the end of two thousand one. <laughs> yeah, Face Odyssey. That's what I want. Pre- perfect, clean, and get in there. Yeah, yeah. in and out, and no they, pain. Yeah, that sounds nice. I just want to wake up two days later with like a stuffed animal next to me and, a, yeah. and some ice cream that's been melted down from my in a straw. All healed. Well, that sounds like a nice break. Yeah, it was good. Did you get some painkillers? Those yeah, are good. It's Tylenol. Tylenol three. The threes, right? Ooh, that's yeah. a good one. You know, you know, what went through my head. I was sitting there on the ride home. That big, you put it, it gauzy up, and there's some bloody gauze in your mouth. Oh. I'm saying, you know what? And I was thinking of Tom saying, oh, you know, I'm I'm gone for two weeks. So I got to take a two week hiatus. I was like, you know what? If we had the Caddyshack minute tonight, I'd do it. That'd be hysterical. I'd sit there and I would do it because you know what? Mm-hmm. It's it's important. I think the nuncio sounds like Rhode Island stern. But I Tom had to go to Connecticut. I fucking hate it. I him. did. I had a great time. <laughs> Sunny, warm, pleasant. No, so no, many white no, people. No, oh my no, god! It was great. No, no. I miss the oh, summer. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, what? No, no, no. Did oh, you jump yeah. in any pools, Tom? I did. I did not. I, I said it's not true. I did. I went to a. Uh, I went to a a Six Flags New England, baby. Oh, did you go to? Oh, you went to Six Flags. Yeah, that was fun. Oh, by really? the way, I went to the water park two weeks ago. Oh, yeah. With the kids. I didn't see. They you there. have. I went with the. No, no. I went. So I have some friends that are leaving town. They're actually moving to Chicago, so maybe they'll be hey. your friends soon. Uh, <laughs> I took them to the water park because that was one of, my, one of my friends' her favorite place. It's called uh, Waterworld. It's in Concord, California. I and for that. Yeah, <laughs> it's right. They, they were, may, maybe uh, what's his name? Kevin Costner probably sued them or something. <laughs> they have a ride on there. You tell me if they got this at the at the modern water parks. But let me tell you, some water parks have changed. They're getting all creative now. There's a ride where you get in there and it's like a pod, and they put you in there like you're going to get beamed up, and then the floor just drops oh. out from under you. Yeah, no, they had these there, but they were busted. They couldn't, you, uh, we couldn't get on them. I wasn't going to do any, uh, do it oh anyway. Oh my god, it's Sounds the crazy. scariest thing in the world. You, you, it's scarier than it even sounds. 
You hear you hear the noise of it opening up and people just falling. They scream. <laughs> But the noise of it, do you guys remember in Blazing Saddles when they're hanging people outside? <laughs> oh, the sound of that. And there's yeah. always that noise, you know, bang. Yeah. It's like that. This thing is just like dropping out. Yeah. You just hear, ah! <laughs> and the kid's screams just disappear into this tube. You know? That's awesome. <laughs> I mean, it's unbelievable. And I went on the thing, and they close it on you like they're going ga- like to gas you or something. <laughs> they close it on you, and then this woman's voice goes, three. Two, one, <laughs> and the floor just drops out, and you hit terminal velocity in about two seconds. It's like it's like it's oh like God. the renewal in Logan's Run. Yeah, yeah. Renewal. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Come out as a baby. Yeah. It is the freakiest. It's uh, it was really a lot of fun, but it was a uh, very scary. Not not everyone in the whole crew would do it, but I'm proud to say I did. There you, there go. you go. You're yeah. a man. Yeah. Well, gentlemen. Yep. Mm-hmm. Dan's got a pizza to eat. Yep. I have a I pizza gosh. to think about. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think we've done a pretty good job with Minute 15. Yeah. I don't think there's anything that people need to, to learn about this minute that we didn't cover. I mean, mm-hmm. No, there's there's more good uh, Brian Doyle Murray stuff next uh, next minute. If yeah. anybody has any questions, they can certainly uh, mail them in. Yes. I'm at 651, but you'll have to guess the street, uh, <laughs> the name of the street. Just a blanket San Francisco. But it's a number. Yeah. With a TH. Oh, that will be a little bit of a clue. Uh, So let me tell you, though, I I I had a quick question. Uh, Angie D'Annunzio has a bloody nose at the end. Did Brian Doyle Murray give him this by slamming him into the sign? I think so. His employer abusing him physically? Oh, that was pretty quick. That's a good point. Does he have the bloody nose before? He might have gotten it with the scuffle with Danny. He could have got away, fucking landed on the guy from the roof of the thing. Let me check that. Yeah, I don't know. No, I think uh, I think he get, I think he got it from uh, I think he got it from his employer slamming him into. It. If that ever happened to me, I would sue the man for all the gumballs he's got. Yeah, <laughs> and all the broken glass. Mm-hmm. I take that too. All the smelly cokes. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Well, listen, guys. Mm-hmm. Go to bed or eat a pizza, whichever mm-hmm. uh, makes more sense to you right now. Yeah, right. And uh, we'll come back here next time for minute 16. Does that sound all right to you guys? Yeah. All right. Um, that sounds fantastic, yeah. Tom. Mm-hmm. It's kind of what we've been doing this whole time. Well, yeah. you don't have to take the week off or anything, do you? Two weeks. Uh, as a matter of fact, I do. I'm not going to be here next time. <laughs> we'll discuss that off air. Okay. We'll take that right. offline. Yes, offline. God, As they say that. at work. I hate that so much. Yeah, let's take it offline. You know, we'll park, it, what do you mean? Why don't you say we'll talk park. about it later? And if we'll I get offline, that means I'm done working. Yeah. Well, like, well, we're both, we all shut down. We're like, we're not operational. We're offline. Right. Or they know. say, or it's they like say, we're all living in a Tron universe. Or they say, let's put that in the parking lot. That's another one that people like to say. We'll come back to that one. So let's put that idea in the parking lot. When that starts, I'm going to just start screaming. Do the needful. Yeah, do the needful. <laughs> That's what. Oh. Yeah. Jesus. I'm Mike taking this I podcast offline. It's too much talking over one another. I'm getting really upset. Yeah, well, it's, it's going to upset the listeners. Yeah, it's upsetting me. Because every word know. each of us says is gold. Because you just don't shut up, Tom. I can't. I'm trying to end the goddamn thing. There's no sense of timing. All right. No. Hi. Hi. He's stupid, too. <laughs> On that <laughs> note. Uh, uh, I got a second opinion. Just got to hit stop. <laughs> See all you bastards next and time. Ugly. Okay. <laughs> hey, you scratched my ankle. <laughs>